Canva websites have gotten better and better. So this tutorial will be dedicated to showing you how to create landing pages for your business or organization using Canva. Without further ado, let's hop in. Most people think about Canva for graphic design, but you can also use Canva to replace landing page software. There are thousands of templates to choose from, but in this tutorial, I want to show you how to use Canva to create a landing page for a virtual event. Another benefit to building your landing pages this way is you can collaborate in real time, connect it to domains that you own, and even make it password protected if that's something that you need. This is perfect for pop-up events and products and could even be used for people who want to start a business but do not want to pay for a Squarespace subscription. All you have to do is buy a custom domain, customize a template, and hit publish your website when you're ready to make it live. All of your buttons can still be connected to a payment processor so you're able to process payments as well. The Canva Magic AI features are available within the website builder if you have Canva Pro. So if you're currently using a free account and you would like access to those, feel free to use my link, lashondabrown.com slash Canva to get access to a free 30-day trial of Canva Pro. There are multiple ways for you to find the website templates within Canva. Templates is located on the left-hand side. There's also a button on the home screen or you can type it into the search bar. So for this example, we're going to type in event website. Then you'll select it from the list. By typing it into the search bar, you're filtering the results that appear for the website templates. You can always click on the left-hand side to create a website from scratch, but I would encourage you to look through the templates that are available, see if there are any that meet your needs so that you can save time by customizing a template versus having to build everything from scratch. When you hover over the thumbnails within this view, you're going to see the different sections of the website. It's going to look very similar to how Canva presentations are viewed. In the bottom left-hand corner, you will see how many pages there are. And essentially, Canva websites are Canva presentations that are stitched together vertically. So this particular example has five different sections. Not every template has the exact same number of pages, so make sure that you hover to see what they have available. When you find a template that meets your needs, just click on the template thumbnail and then click on customize this template. If you've already uploaded your colors to Canva as a brand, it will make it incredibly easy for you to apply your colors to the website template. Just click on brand on the left-hand side. And once you hover over your color palette, you'll just click on shuffle. A shortcut to help you to customize the fonts is to select one of the text elements, make sure that it's ungrouped, and then select the font that you would like to change it to. At the bottom, you'll see a purple button that has been switched to say change all. If you select this option, every instance of the previous font will be changed to the font that you select. As you continue to scroll through the template, you may see some placeholder content. You can replace any of the images that you see with images from your collection or stock photos from the Canva library. In a previous video, I showed you how to get access to some brand new diverse stock photos. If you missed that, feel free to click on that link in the description. I also did a video about Canva organization. So if you have uploaded your images to your brand kit or to your folders, you can easily select those from the left-hand side as well. If you'd like to replace an image, just click on the image and then hit delete on your keyboard. If the image had been added to the template as an element, you would still have that placeholder environment. If you do not see that, I would encourage you to click on elements and look under frames and add a square frame. The reason why I suggest this is this will save whatever formatting you leave in the website. So if you continue to use this template for other events or other products, this will retain the shape that you decide on and it will give you more options to customize your image as well. So I'm gonna drop in one of my images that I've uploaded to my folders. I'll just click on projects and then I will click on folders here and select the proper photo to bring in the images. Now you'll notice when I shuffled through my colors on the first page, it did apply my colors there. If you want to continue to utilize that tool, you're going to have to go section by section. 
If you want to preview your website, all you need to do is click on preview in the top right hand corner. And this will show you a mock-up of your website within a web browser. At the bottom, you'll see two additional options to resize on mobile and include a navigation menu. If you want to change any of these, all you have to do is click the check mark to toggle it off. When you're ready to publish, all you need to do is click on publish website in the top right hand corner and then you can decide what domain you would like to connect your website to. If you'd like to use one of Canva's free domains, just customize the slug here. If you want to utilize a custom domain, click on custom domain under this box. From there, you can bring in your domain from a third party. You can purchase a domain through Canva or you can change your mind and claim your free Canva domain. Canva domains will end in my.canva.site. If you have a team working with you and you would like for them to help you to collaborate on the site, just like any other Canva design, you can click on share and share access to this particular template. You can add people that are on your Canva team or you can even invite someone specifically to this design by typing in their information here. I think this is a fantastic strategy for you to implement in 2025 to market virtual events and even consider utilizing this strategy to pre-sell products without making massive updates to your website to see if there is interest within your community. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you don't already have Canva Pro and you would like to get access to a free 30-day trial while supporting the channel, go to lashondabrown.com slash Canva. Until next time, ta-ta for now.